if you're just starting out in your software engineering career, especially if you wanna move up the ranks quickly, you have to know about the million lines of code rule. This rule has landed me in my last four promotions and it's something that's gonna give you a lot of job security. So the rule comes from the fact that junior developers when they first start working will often send these giant pull requests because maybe they're used to being in school where they'll do a whole project all in one go. And so the reviewers of the pull requests will often say, oh, this is like way too long, way too big. Can you please split this up to make it more understandable? But actually splitting it up is really bad advice because what happens when you split up a pull request? It becomes more understandable and your reviewer is gonna be way more likely to find bugs in it. That is not what you want. What you want is to submit as much code as possible and just make everyone think that you are extremely talented and productive. So the first time this happens to you, you need to make up an excuse as to why it is technically infeasible to split up the pull request. Maybe one part doesn't work without another, you know, make a really, really long explanation using ChatGPT, and then you're gonna confuse your reviewer and then they'll be forced to just say, okay, fine, I give up. Now, over time, if you keep doing this, your reviewer is just gonna start feeling like they're not paid enough to deal with this mess, and they're just gonna start rubber stamping everything that you send to them. That is when you need to move on to phase two. What you need to do is start coalescing all of your code changes into one mega file. And then you're gonna to wanna to build up that file over time until it gets to one million lines of code. Once you get to one million lines of code, two really important things are gonna happen. The first is that when anyone tries to open that file, it is going to crash their computer because it is so large. Therefore, no one else has any shot of understanding what the heck is going on in there. The second important thing that's gonna happen is people are gonna to start to become really impressed that you are the domain expert on this one gigantic file. And they are gonna start feeling like they cannot fire you. And in fact, they must promote you because if they don't promote you, you'll leave and then no one will understand the file. Follow me for more tech tips.